Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I've been waiting for this thing for a long time. I ordered this about a month ago when the Canon EOS R6 Mark II just came out. And this is a small rig cage specifically made for the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. So yeah, let's go ahead and open this box up and see what comes inside the box. Okay, so typical small rig packaging. They always put everything in um, bubble wrap. Doesn't matter what you order from them, everything comes in bubble wrap. So yeah, this is the cage, guys. I don't know if the camera is gonna pick that up very well. And there's the top. Bottom. So yeah, you got all um, different mounting points on here, just like your typical small rig cage if you've ever had a small rig cage for your camera. So you got your cold shoe mount right here, and you got some more mounting points right here. This is actually where I'm gonna mount my, um, my Atomos Ninja 5. That's basically why I got this, is so I can mount my Atomos up on top of here, and my microphone right here, and you got some more uh, mounting points on each side of the cage for ex accessories and stuff like that. So yeah, let's go ahead and um, get this on the Canon EOS R6 Mark II. So basically on all their cages, see right here in the front right here where that little arrow is? I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. That's the part that should be um, right where your LCD screen is on your camera. So basically, we're gonna put it in this way. So this is the where the LCD screen is on the, on the camera back there. So basically what you do is you go in from here. Oh, okay, I see what they did. You look here on the side, cause I see this area right here where it says lock. Let's see if it'll pick that up. See where it says lock right there? It says lock and there's like a Allen screw right there. So we gotta remove those before we put it on. And I guess they, oh yeah, they provide you with a, um, a little tool right here to install it. You got a little flathead screwdriver and a little Allen wrench right there. So we'll go ahead and remove these. So instead of putting the, the two small screws on the bottom, like on all, all their cages, they actually put it on the side this time. Okay, so that came right out. And it basically, basically looks like that. got one on each side okay so basically you got the two small screws on this thing right here usually those are mounted down here at the bottom on each side and then you got your um, got your quarter thread right there. That's your quarter thread that mounts into the bottom of the camera, in the middle of the camera at the bottom. And you got a little small rig branding, branding there. And yeah, basically got all your mounting points on here. So that's awesome. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this installed. And I guess what they did guys, see right here, this part right here on the camera, this is where you actually put your um, your neck strap for your, you know, for your camera, the camera strap. And what they did was, is now you, I guess you'll be mounting this onto the um, cage. And what that does is it basically, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick that up. Move my head down. 
yeah so basically see this right here this is actually gonna hook onto those this thing right here so yeah let's go ahead and get this in here already so it's gonna go in this way Try doing it this way. Okay, there you go. Okay, I see what they did now. Yeah, they have this um, a little coming out a little further. So what it does is it doesn't it doesn't push up against the top of the camera. It's got like an eighth of an inch clearance there. So we'll go ahead and screw this in here at the bottom yeah so it doesn't even touch touch the top of the camera so that's that's awesome right there because the r6 cage actually pushes down on the top of the camera and digs into the top of your camera so yeah if you own that cage and you own the r6 mark ii now do not put that cage on because it'll damage the top of your camera guys so let's go ahead and mount these so i guess it doesn't matter which which one you use from which side they both fit in there Okay, so that, that fits in there like really, really good. It's actually perfect. Alright guys, so yeah, it's on and it's looking really good too. That's how it looks on the top. So yeah, basically right here in the front, I don't know if it's going to pick that up, let's try. You got like an eighth of an inch or maybe higher, maybe a little more clearance than that. So it's not even touching the top of the camera and pretty much gives you protection all the way around the camera, which is really good. It's a nice aluminum. It's very, very nice. And that's how it looks at the bottom. So yeah, what they did was you only have this one screw down here at the bottom, the quarter thread, and you're not actually using those two small screws that go on each side. What they did was they put mounting points here at the top on each side. So yeah. So yeah, you can put your, um, external monitor right here and you can also put a whole shoe mount there or um, I have let me see where did I put those I actually have these other these other um, small rig accessories too let's see if these how these would do on here so yeah you can actually you can actually mount one of these guys on here actually no you can't and you know why because this this piece right here is too short Usually on their cages, it goes all the way across the top. So you can't even put the small rig, small rig handle on here. Okay, that's not cool. So that's definitely, this is definitely not gonna work, guys. And let me see if you can actually put handles on the side. Maybe just one handle. So.
Okay, so I've got one handle on there. And let's try, let's try the other side. Okay, yeah, you can put two handles. But it's kind of funny because this part comes out further, so it's not really lined up. But I guess it'll work. So, yeah, this is going to mount just like this. So I don't like the idea that you can't you can't put the the top handle on, you know. So you can actually when you're doing video, when you want to get those really low shots, you know, you want to actually hold it up here. That's not cool, but yeah, the handles work. It's just they're they're not lined up. It'd be nice if they were even, you know, cuz like when you set it down here, see how it's at an angle if it was even like that. So this needs to come down a little lower, but they don't have any mounting points to do that. So I guess it is what it is. And you don't got too, too much up here. I mean, you can mount your monitor right here. You got your cold shoe mount right here for your, for your mic. And then you got some more mounting points here and some more here on the side. So you can actually Yeah, so if I was to take, if I was to leave this on right here, you can't put the HDMI, um, the HDMI holder, the one that actually tightens the, actually holds the HDMI in place so it doesn't move around. So that's not gonna work. So it's either that, you do one handle or, or no handle. <laughs> so yeah, guys. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I mean, my first impressions, I mean, the quality of the cage is really nice, but I would have liked to see more mounting points on the top right here, you know, and being able to not put this on, it's not gonna work just because the, the screws don't line up properly, or maybe they do, I don't know, let's, let's try. Let me go ahead and set that down. Yeah, let's see if we can get that on there. So basically, it would go in like so, right here. If I can see where to put it in. See, I don't like that. This thing right here, the um, handles don't, they don't line up e evenly. One handle is up higher than the other one. All right, there it goes. Yeah, see the the other screw doesn't doesn't line up, so Okay, so yeah, it's a no-go on that. That is not gonna work. So let's go ahead and remove that. I know they sell another handle where it has one screw, one screw down here in the middle. So that's probably the one I'm gonna have to get if I wanna use that. But it would've been nice for that one to actually work on there, but it, it's not gonna work, so. It is what it is. 
So yeah, let me go ahead and toss this to the side. Yeah, it was nice, nice of small rig to give you this um, little tool that's actually magnetic, so it actually stays right there. I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. Yep, stays right there. So yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it for this video. If you guys found this video helpful in any way, if you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below and I'll be sure to answer your questions. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, smash that like button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. All right, guys, have a good day. Thank you for watching. Peace.